Hey guys, Mrs. Stefan here. Ha <laughs> ha, isn't that neat? All right, so today we're going to be working on flat surfaces, which could also be called faces, vertices, which could also be cor called our corners, and our edges, which are those straight lines, all right, that we're going to find on some shapes. So right off the bat, we're looking, number one, let's take a look here. We have a rectangular prism a cube, which we just learned about last week, a cylinder, a pyramid, a sphere, and a cone. All right, so it says write how many flat surfaces, vertices, and edges, then circle the objects that have that shape. So here we have a rectangular prism has six faces. Faces are those flat surfaces. Remember there's one on top, one on the bottom, one on the right, one on the left, one in the front, which means there's one in the back. So there are six. So let's trace six. Good. Now we've got our vertices. Our vertices are our corners. So we've got one there, two, three, four. And if there's four on top, how many are on the bottom? Four. What's four plus four, everybody? Whisper it. What is it? I can't hear you. Eight, you're right. Woohoo! And edges. Edges is the tricky because we have to make sure that we count them all. So we have one, two, three, four on top, which means we have four on bottom. Even though we can't see them all, they are there. Four plus four is eight. Are we done? No. Nine, ten, eleven, and then there's one back here hiding, which makes twelve. 12 edges. All right, let's take a look at number two, everybody. Ming's shape has two flat surfaces. I'm going to underline two flat surfaces because that's important information. It has no edges and no vertices. So no straight lines and no corners. What shape is it? Well, I look here. This has no edges and no vertices, but this sphere also does not have two flat surfaces. So it cannot be a sphere. All right? We just learned uh, last Friday that a cube has six faces. That's six flat surfaces. So is that the same as two flat surfaces? No way. Cannot be a cube. All right, now we have two more to choose from. Let's see. The pyramid, I see some vertices here right now. Even though there's some more hiding, I see vertices, and it says no vertices. So can it be the pyramid? No, it cannot. It must be the cylinder. Here's one flat surface. There's two flat surfaces, right? And then the rest, there are no straight lines, no edges, and there are no corners. So our answer is C, the cylinder. All right, let's check, check out number three. Kim's shape has no flat surfaces. Important, no flat surfaces. No edges and no vertices. Oh my goodness. I want you to go ahead and see if you can figure it out. Fill in the bubble that you think has no flat surfaces, no edges, and no vertices. We'll count back five, four, three, two, and one. How many of you picked the sphere? If you are correct, good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Woo -woo! All right. Now we're going to go into a little algebra, a little bit of tricky work here. See if I can't fool some of you. How many edges do these two shapes have in all? Well, we're going to cheat a little bit. What is this shape, first of all? Let's look up at our list up on top. It is a what? Rectangular prism. Did we just do a rectangular prism? Has six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges? We did. So how many edges does this one have? This one has 12. So if this one has 12, how many does this one have? If you wrote 12, you are correct. Now we're going to go ahead and do our standard algorithm. Line our numbers up. What do we add first, everybody? Always the ones place. What's two plus two? Four, and one plus one is two. 
your sum is 24. These two rectangular prisms have 24 edges in all. All right, let's flip it over. The back is even easier. All right. Up here, they're showing you the shapes. All right. They went ahead and they kind of did it for us, so we're going to skip that part. We're going to get straight to work on number one and two. Write the number of flat surface or faces, edges, and vertices. Use the solid figures to help you. So, how many flat surfaces? We have one on top, this circle right here. We have one on bottom. That makes two. Do we have any edges, any straight lines? I know that these look like straight lines, but when I pull out a real cylinder, they're not straight lines because this cylinder does what? If you said rolls, you are correct. So it has zero edges. Does it have any corners? No, right? No points where two edges come together. So the answer is zero. Looks like a 200. All right, let's take a look at our rectangular prism. All right, how many faces? The faces are flat surfaces. They're called faces because this shape does not roll. So we remember there's one on top, which means there's one on bottom. That's two. There's one in the back and one in the front. That's two more. Two plus two is four. Awesome. There's one on the right which means there's one on the left. So, repeated addition, 2 plus 2 plus 2, also known as 2 times 3. There are six faces. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and we're going to go down to vertices because vertices are easier. If we have one corner, two corners, three vertices, four vertices, there's four on top, there must be four on the bottom. And 4 plus 4 is... You better get eight, or I'm sending you back to kindergarten. Uh-oh. All right, now let's do our edges. These are the straight lines. So we have one, two, three, and four. If there's four on top, there has to be. You got it, four on the bottom. That's eight. But wait a second. Don't forget the ones going down. Here's nine, ten, and on the other side, eleven and twelve. So there are 12 edges. This is exactly the same as a cube. All right? So if you finish this, then you do not have any extra homework for me. Have a great day. Good work. Make sure your name is on it and turn it in.